This is a show where uh, I remember talking to cast members on The Sopranos when that show was on, interviewing them, and they would say, we're, we're, we're so afraid, because any week we could get the call from David Chase that our character is going to die. Or, yeah. or people on Lost were afraid that J.J. Abrams, that they'd get the phone call, mm. your character gets killed next week. The, the, this, the deaths are so surprising. Mm. How do you handle that? Because on your show, you never know which character is going to go. No, it's so funny because we, at the beginning of season two, Glenn called to talk about character changes and stuff that were going to happen. And, um, and he said, no, don't worry, don't worry. You know, I'm not, it's not that cool. I was like, which call? He goes, well, you know, everybody gets so scared when I call you and, you know, that it's going to be the death call and stuff. And I was like, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. But now every time my phone rings, that's exactly what I think. When he calls, I'm like, you know, so I put it in a bucket of water. And, I, I, you know, when <laughs> somebody calls, you just, you, ju you dunk it in the fishbowl. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I like you're getting called by a Brooklyn bookie. <laughs> <laughs> I got good odds Yo. for you. Uh, I'm making this zombie show. <laughs> uh, do you think they would tell you in advance? Would they warn you if your character was going to? Yeah, they do. But I send them so many presents, so it doesn't matter. No, nice. No, you just don't pull a, a Val Kilmer on the show, and then you, you're fine. What do you mean, a Val Kilmer? I mean, you behave yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you behave yourself. Oh, like she's telling you anything you don't know. <laughs> Everyone's like, that Val Kilmer, cuckoo. <laughs> Even Val Kilmer at home knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Val Kilmer's at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's right. Wearing yeah. antler ears, naked. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because he almost played someone on the show. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Please start some rumors while you're here. Yeah. Very quickly, we don't have much time, but I have to ask you, Javier Bardem was just here, and uh, he's uh, playing, uh, one, I, I, in my opinion, one of the great Bond villains of all time. Y you ever think about maybe, would you want to play a Bond girl? You're so beautiful, you're a great, <laughs> tough, you yeah. know, fighter. You know, I, I would love to do a Bond thing where you were a, where you were a boy the whole time, and you were some kind of kung fu kick-ass boy, and then you realize that you're, you have short hair, and at the end you realize you're a woman, and you have mad sex with Bond or something. But, um, Wait, but you kind of Wait, so your character Bond. doesn't know if she's a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh! And then kissing. <laughs> That's a real twist. Yeah. I have no freaking idea! <laughs> Yeah, and Glenn Mazaritz calls you and tells you that's the show, so. I would watch that film. I'll watch you do anything.